Intermediate Algebra Section 2.3. Because slope is a ratio that indicates how a change in the vertical direction of a line corresponds to a change in the horizontal direction, it has many real-world applications. Foremost is the use of slope to represent a rate of change. And let's look at a couple of examples here. A company's revenue is $350,000. Two years earlier, it was $320,000. Find the rate at which the revenue is increasing. For just a point of reference, let's put a year on here. It says a company's revenue is $350,000. So let's consider that now and say the year is 2016. Two years earlier, we would be talking about 2014 would be the revenue. And they're asking us for the rate at which the revenue is increasing. So we have two ordered pairs, essentially. We have the year 2016 with a revenue of $350,000. And two years prior to that, call it 2014, the revenue was 320000 If we were to graph these, where we have time on the horizontal axis, and we have 2014 and 2016, and we have our values here, and I'm not using any particular scale, just again a quick visual representation of what's going on. If I plot the points 2016 with 350,000, two years prior, 2014, 320, they're asking us for the rate at which their revenue is increasing. So if it's following this positive trend, we're looking at a description of the steepness of this line, a rate which we will call the slope because of the fact we have a line here and we're looking at that vertical change, the rise, the change in our y values over the change in our x values where we're talking a change in money over time. So particular wise, our changing y values we have 350,000 minus the other y value of 320,000 over the change in the x values. So we started with this y, we'll start with this x, so we have 2016 minus 2014. So we have a change of 30 thousand dollars in the numerator over two years and to simplify this rate we will do the division 30,000 divided by 2 means on average that there was a $15,000 rate increase per year. Let's take a look at another example. Here it tells us the cost in dollars of the rental of a bounce house is given as the cost is equal to 3t plus 25. The first question asks what do the numbers 3 and 25 signify? The 25 is not affected by anything, it's just added on. And if you think about rental agreements, oftentimes there's a flat fee. So in this example, we would say that the $25 would be that minimum flat fee, regardless of how long fee. That's going to put flea on there. Uh, regardless of how long the bounce house is rented. And then the 3 is being multiplied by t, the time that the bounce house is used. This is going to be the rate per hour for, assuming this is, hours, now it could be days, this problem doesn't really give us that kind of specific information, but we'll go with hours, 
as a possibility anyway, but it's a, a rate for the rental cost. Every hour that's used, or maybe it's minutes, I doubt it's days. These things are generally pretty pricey to rent a bounce house, so it seems reasonable, a flat fee plus a price per hour as a suggestion for what these numbers signify. The second part of this example is asking is how much will it cost to rent the bounce house for six hours? And that kind of answers the question of the rate is per hour. So essentially they're asking us when our time is six. So we will replace T with six and simplify to determine what that rental cost will be. Multiplying first over addition with following order of operations, we have an 18 plus 25, and adding those together ends up giving us a $43 charge. This is very similar to a Y equals MX plus B linear function, which B, our y-intercept would be 25. If we rent the bounce house, it's a flat 25, and for every hour that it's used, there's an additional increase or rate of $3. So you can visualize graphically that if we had time versus cost here, our C of T factor, that we would have that flat 25 doesn't make sense to have negative time but every hour that goes by that we would go up by a three dollar increase here's our one hour here's our two hours and again that this is going to go up three dollars for every one hour for the charge on the bounce house